Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio. Excuse the attire, but I am in my normal clothes today purely because it's a Monday. We're shot on Mondays, and I've just had to come in and quit, go, do a quick video on this Land Rover Defender. We've done a little job on. This Defender has come in because they wanted Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. They wanted a nice screen that didn't hide any usable buttons on the dash. They wanted a reverse camera, and they also wanted a front parking camera and good radio reception. So let's quickly go around the vehicle and show you what we've done. I'm going to start on the outside, show you what you can see from the outside, then we'll go inside and show you what the screen looks like. So starting at the back, we've got the reverse camera mounted nice and up high. Reason for doing that is that it gives you good, good perspective viewing from behind the vehicle. Obviously you're going to get this little blind spot below the spare wheel, we can't avoid that. But we'll show you what viewing angle that gives you, but that's a nice tidy install. Cables all get hidden behind the roof line underneath, so you don't see any cables at all. Now. This is a uh, Puma style Defender, so roughly 2014. So it's a newer shape before they changed to the, the new modern version, which hate it or love it, it's a nice looking vehicle. Anyway, enough about that. We've got the aerial on the wing. This is a NACA aerial. Gives a nice, good agricultural style, style finish. Picks up dab reception, FM reception, great. And then moving to the front, we've actually got the camera mounted just here. Now that gives a really good nice view in the view. You can even see the top of the number plate below and also you can see like good 10 to 20 feet away from the vehicle. But we'll show you that shortly. That helps with maneuvering because this car hasn't got any front parking sensors or rear parking sensors. So the customer would help with maneuverability which the camera sorted out. Now let's go in and actually look at the Kenwood installed in the dash. Now hopped inside the cockpit. Now this is a double DIN conversion and what that basically means in the Defender is you move the rower switches from the top here and you relocate them to the right hand side here. Now back in the day we used to use screens that used to fold out but the problem with those ones and also the big floating style screens, unless you use this double DIN fitting kit, your very handy and safe hazard switch gets blocked by the screen which isn't ideal. So with this conversion you've got all your buttons extremely accessible with your left hand right here. Now starting from the top, the buttons that you have to relocate is a hazard switch, you've got your fog light, you've got rear, rear wiper and also the washer um, wiper washers. And then what we do in the bottom is a nice little cut out here designed for well whatever you want in to be fair, but we've put a USB-C flushed connected to the Kenwood. So the cousin's got a handy charging port just there, and they've also managed to retain their cigar socket, because sometimes we can change this for USBs, but the customers wanted to retain their cigar socket for, you know, portable fridges and, and whatnot. Now let's turn it on so you can actually see what it looks like. One thing I haven't got round to doing yet, which I'll do in a minute after this video's done, is I will put the Land Rover logo on this rather than the Kenwood logo, so it will come up with a Land Rover logo for us. Let's wait for this to boot up. Let's get rid of the disclaimer. I'm going to show you the cameras first because uh, that's that's pretty much what the you know the most important feature that this customer had added. So we're going to put it into reverse, and then what's going to happen is the rear camera is going to automatically come up. <laughs> front camera comes up when you take it out of reverse, and then you put it'll come automatically on the front like that. And you can see just about what we've got. We've got the just top of the number plate there. And I'll put it back in reverse and that will take over and you can see the Audi's behind, you can see really far and it's got a great viewing angle. And what you can also do, if you're not in reverse, you can actually push the camera button and the front camera's, uh, sorry, the rear camera will come up and you can also select the front camera. And what it will do is it will remember this setting. So if we come out of this and then we push the camera button now, it will revert back to the front camera. So the customer can use the front and rear camera when they're not actually um, in reverse as well. We've got DAB radio as I mentioned, which is on DAB right now. I'll turn that down so I don't need any copyrights. This has got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly, so no need to connect your phone to it via a lead. You can do via this unit here, but otherwise it is a full wireless Apple CarPlay unit. But yeah, you can agree, they do look nice with doubled in conversions. I'd recommend having this fascia fitted even if you want the nine inch or 10 inch larger screens as well, because it saves having any, you know, like I said, buttons being blocked by the actual screen, so. But yeah, I'm going to finish it there because customers are going to be picking it up very, very shortly and I had to get this video done. So we'll see you soon. It's Connor in front of the camera, Connor holding the camera and all the team at John Cleese Cardio. We'll see you soon.